Hi, this is Julie Waldorf.com and I have Kurtz Flagel here with the... Elevate. Elevate Christian Church. Yes. And here I am in San Luis Obispo. Um, you were telling me that you um, served or, or made 10,000 meals a couple months ago for children. Yeah, on January 25th, we mm -hmm. partnered with an organization called Generosity Feeds. Mm -hmm. It is based out of Sterling, Virginia. And that's what they do. They go into a community, uh -huh. find a, an... Um, some kind of host or support team in a community that wants to help them um, really just feed kids who struggle with food insecurities or food uh, just struggle with any kind of food hunger uh, hunger for them. so what we did is we brought them in the slow and they help us bring together the community okay to first of all raise the money it's a dollar a meal for the meals okay and also to bring the community together to put the meals together so we did that on january 25th we brought over 230 people from slow county together at laguna middle school uh -huh. and we packaged 10,000 meals wow in less than two hours actually less than an hour and a half that's impressive and what we did then is distributed those meals to the school system here in mm -hmm. slow the city of slow and uh -huh. also the school system down in South County in, in Arroyo Grande. Mm -hmm. And they each got 5,000 of those meals mm -hmm. that they could distribute to kids outside of school hours so that the kids are taken care of. The, uh -huh. meals, the meals can be stored for 18 months. Okay, well that's good. So that as there's other organizations like Slow Glean here that produce, uh, they give fresh, mm -hmm. um, they go into people's yards and, and they glean whatever's left like oranges and mm -hmm. lemons and things like that to give to the schools, so mm -hmm. that's fresh. But wh so what happens when those meals, you know, when that food isn't there? Okay. They can they can back it up with this, with the meals we provide. Okay, great. So you were saying that there are like 44% of the kids in the school system here in the are county. in the county, in San yeah, Luis Obispo County? 44% yeah. of the kids in our county have some kind of food assistance, that they need food assistance in the school district. Okay. So tw that's 20,000 kids wow. in Slow County. So our population of this county is about 285,000 people. Uh huh. So, and then you look at the number of kids, 20,000 20, the kids in our county struggle. That's, that's way higher than the national average. 44% is higher than the national average. What is the national average? The, the national average usually is one in four, so about 25%. Uh huh. And ours is almost two in four, yeah. 44%. That's the ones you know. Yeah, so, and you're saying exactly. most of the kids don't have, um, so if they don't eat, they eat usually during school, but they don't eat after school. They don't school. eat at home, which, this is the, this is the issue. This is um, because most of them are low-income families, mm -hmm. where the parents have divorced or never been married, and mm -hmm. dad has left, mm -hmm. and, or their both parents are struggling to make ends meet. Mm -hmm. And this is about destiny, this is about a legacy in these families, that that's going to be the perpetual cycle unless yeah. somebody changes it unless because we, what happens yeah. is if those kids are fighting to survive they're mm -hmm. not focused on their grades they're not focused right. on their schoolwork which means they're going to end up in the same place their parents are right but if they have food mm -hmm. if they're taken care of during the weekends and after school then they can get their mental focus on their schoolwork mm -hmm. which then drives them to a different destiny than their parents Okay. So well. this is more than just about feeding them. This is creating a legacy that changes yeah. their family. Yeah, feeding the children and housing the children will make a big, huge exactly. difference. All right, well, I say let's get right side up. And thank you very much, Kurt. It was very interesting what you just told us. And um, keep up the good work. Thank you. All right, ciao.